Hi there, I've got another sketchbook flip through for you. I've been meaning to do a video for this for a while. As you can see, I finished this in February, but I just haven't had time to do a video of it yet. This sketchbook took about a year to do. I've just been busy with a lot of projects, but I'll show you the drawings from it. We've got Luchador Dung Beetle. I like that guy, he's pretty fun. Here's just kind of a rough sketch. I don't really care for this. I don't know, pineapple robot thingy. And then I did some rough sketches of some weird uh, pig shapes, which I had kind of fun with. You'll see something else with that later. Here's a alien in a 10 gallon hat. And then here's a final version of a pig. Just wanted to do something with kind of an odd shape. I think he turned out pretty funny. And then this is kind of a mouse um, sand crab thing. Found a weird creature, this little mole crab thing that lives in on the beaches and then combined it with a little mouse. Here's kind of a cool Alien sci-fi girl being all tough. I thought it'd be cool to draw a couple pictures on a couple pages. So she's fighting this guy. Um, I put it. I combined them all together on my website. If you look through my blog, and then I'll skip ahead. I also drew this guy as an after after fact to add to the picture too, to show that maybe she's. She's not the hero, she's crashing a tea party. So be sure to look that up on my website, it's pretty funny. Then a little uh, gecko guy drinking a Slurpee. And a had this idea for a long time and finally drew it out. Just a silly uh, mixer. Flipped upside down and made into a character. And a little cute pink dolphin. I drew this kind of style dolphin for my niece and nephew a while ago. And I thought I'd draw it for myself. Um, I just really like kind of vintage flat styles like this. So had some fun with that. And then a cute little spider um, doing the cat's cradle. I actually took the colors of this spider directly from an actual spider that exists out in the wild. I shared a photo of that on my website too. Then a cute little dragon. Sometimes you gotta draw a cute dragon. And then we have tons of uh, cicadas that come uh, once a year in our neighborhood so I was inspired to do a cicada made him kind of a popcorn salesman. I really like how that guy turned out. Makes me happy every time I look at him. And then a silly cartoon cloud with a rainbow eyebrow. You can just dec decipher what he's doing here. And then I always love drawing Egyptian stuff, mummies and everything, so here's another mummy eating a sub sandwich for no apparent reason. And then my niece and nephew drew animals, so I did my versions of their cute little drawings. This is my niece's alligator, reimagined. <laughs> Very interesting shape. And here's my nephew's uh, tiger, reimagined. That's kind of fun to do, is do drawings based on kids' drawings. Then here's a tree girl. Thought she was fun. You can see a little influence from uh, Star vs. the Force of Evil, I think. And I love praying mantis. So here's a little cute praying mantis. Again, I've been exploring kind of this uh, simplified um, style that's really based on shapes and everything. And then here is a crazy lizard sci-fi dude, kind of a sci-fi pirate. You can see I used a little metallic blue marker on his gun there. 
exploring those new markers that I got. I got some neon ones and some metallic ones, so he's pretty fun. And a little hermit crab llama thing. Turned out pretty cute. And a moth uh, news journalist reporter. I love how fuzzy he is. And then this guy is actually a monster based on a friend's kid's drawing. So I did my own version of him because I really liked her little sketch. So I wanted to do my own little newsies monster jelly bean guy. And here's just some little horned monster with a weird flying contraption. Just for fun. I'm not really sure where this idea came from. It just kind of came out. And then I love this little guy. Cute little turtle explorer. My wife had the idea of changing his glasses because I had more, more round ones, which are more typical of cartoons. So I thought it'd be cute to do tortoise shell glasses for the tortoise. And then this guy is kind of a subconscious desire of my own to go on vacation. Sometimes I feel like a robot working on so many client projects and not having a chance to go on vacation, but hopefully soon. And then we went to Schnepp Farms, a uh, local small farm here, and uh, played with some goats. So it inspired me to draw a little goat. And then here's a cute little duck that loves reading. Had this idea for a while too, but finally drew it out. Here's the background for that. You can see it combined together on my website if you're interested. And then last but not least, we've got a spider artiste who has done his, his latest masterpiece in a frame here. So that is it. A little bit smaller sketchbook, but I enjoyed um, working on it. Thanks for taking a look.